wonders of science, wonders of technology, wonders of things. But we are continuing to churn more than what we deserve. What is happening today? Animosities, jealousies and hatred and violence and man against man, malnutrition, suicides and these are all the poisonous effects. Once again the world is crying in pain. Again the Mahadeva Shiva has to come down. Because we are limited personalities. He is Mahadeva, we are all Alpadevas. We are all limited personalities. Kunchita Buddhi. So we try to take more than one liter of glass. We want everything to our own stomach. I for myself, let the devil take the hindmost. I don't care for the nation. As a result, there are so many things unwanted, unexpected. In the health sector, in the education, in the form of malnutrition, in the form of divorces, in the form of so many crimes. A jail which is about 200 seated capacity has become 2000 capacity in Chennai. Is it a good development? Police commissioner says we don't want this. And the Boston police commissioner says what ridiculous way we sleep with a fully loaded .303 rifle in our hand with a burglar's alarm in our pocket and we pretend to sleep. That fellow is sleeping nicely in the jail. We are awake whole night. For his security we have to suffer. And they have become VIPs. And we are all so modern, so great that we don't know what we are doing. One step forward, five steps backward. Solving one problem, creating five problems. Man against man. Families are shattered. We sleep in a AC room. But today America spends 25 million tablets of compost pills every day which is affecting Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, Pune, etc. Is this what we wanted all these for? Is this the goal of mankind? The fourth wave. It's a beautiful book called The Third Wave by Alvin Toffler. He speaks about the tremendous disaster that can happen to any nation if we go into the fourth wave. It will become a tsunami in my heart. 